May I come in? Yes. Despite what I said just now in the summer house. Am I forgiven? Yes, of course. Well, what was the big surprise? It's my father. He wanted to talk to me on the phone. No more worries, then? I suppose not. Shall I take him for another walk this afternoon? Dr. Gerard's coming for lunch, and he may stay the afternoon. Oh, then I'd better get dressed. Why? You have to go out? Well, if the doctor's coming, I've got to go and pick him up. Doesn't he have a car of his own? Uh, he has, but it's in dark. He smashed it up last week. He's a terrible driver. Did you bring him out here last night? Uh, I was to, but... Uh, no, I didn't. I took him home, though. How did he get out, then? I don't know. I was only unconscious 20 minutes, wasn't I? Uh, yeah, about that. He just seemed to be here. I didn't think anything of it. Was he here to dinner? No. Anyway, if he had been, you would have had to pick him up. Yeah, that's funny. I don't understand what's happening here. One minute I think I was imagining everything last night, and the next I'm just not sure anymore. But now that I've talked to my father, I'm still not sure. What do you mean it wasn't him? I haven't talked to my father for nine years. It could have been anyone. But why? I don't know. I just don't know. Now, I'm going to tell you something. You said last night there was a candle burning in the summer house, right? Everybody says nonsense. There's electric light over there. Why use a candle? What is it? I scraped it off the floor just now, when Mrs. Appleby brought you indoors. It's candle grease. <laughs> 